Hello everyone, this is Principal Boslow again, and on this video I'm going to show you how to access your teacher classroom websites where you will want to go every day to figure out and find out the tasks that are available for your child to complete. So again, I'm on a tablet and I'm going to open up my internet browser. It brings me up to Portland Christian Elementary's private um, distance learning website. Again, you cannot find this. Um, if you search for it, it is only available via the link I sent in my email, so please make sure that you bookmark it. From here, you can find your classroom teacher websites. Um, they will be available Tuesday, March 31st at 3, but for our purposes, I'm going to go and I'm going to select Mrs. Ortman's class because um, it's going to be a good model for us to look at. So, like my website, hers are going to have very similar pages. So she's got her home page that talks about um, just her brief intro. It gives her Zoom conference information with her and when she is going to be conferencing with her class. What is really nice about this is that when it is time for you to conference, let's pretend that it's right before her scheduled time, then I'm going to come to her website and I'm going to select the Zoom hyperlink button there on the left in the purple column. So I'm going to select that, boom, brings that right up. And I don't even really have to do anything. I just have to wait for Mrs. Ortman to admit me into this meeting. And as soon as that happens, I am in the meeting. I don't have to enter in, in any meeting ID number. It is there for me to join um, right then and there. So for our purposes, I'm gonna leave so we can go back to our uh, previous discussion. So I'm going back. There's also Class Dojo that's available. This is our primary communication platform that you will be using with your teacher so that the student can come contact the teacher, that the teacher can contact the student. And of course, there's also parent um, accounts available that we would ask parents to sign up so that you can communicate that way as well. Of course, there's still email, but we're using Class Dojo, so that way students can take pictures or take videos of different assignments and then submit them for grades. Once um, you come to this page, you will enter your class text code, which Mrs. Ortman will give to um, her kiddos and their email, you will want to look for your teacher's email that will have that information as well. So this is Mrs. Ortman's homepage. Over here, we see April 1st through 3rd. Every week, new assignments will be posted under a link that looks very similar to this, and this is the tasks that students are, request, are required to do for the week. So I'm gonna select this. It's gonna bring up this coming week, and here are the assignments that will be due. It is organized by subject area. So right now I see math that's there. And if I were to scroll down, there's going to be reading and then phonics. You get the idea. So if I go all the way back up again, these are all of the weekly assignments that are given at one place or at one time and in one place. And so we can see that she has a focus for this week. We can see that each day this is what she wants her assignments to do, and the, or her kids to do. And then on Wednesday, we see, hey, here are all the tasks that they need to do. If you look at number two, it says complete number nine, multiple domains assessment located in the from my teacher section on your Freckle dashboard. Okay, so I'm gonna come back up here, and right here in gray is Freckle. This is a hyperlink button in which I can just press it. It's gonna take me to the Freckle student interface. And using the class code that Mrs. Ortman has given me, I will be able to go on and do the assignment that she has given. It's very similar down below with reading. So if I were to select Raz Kids as a reading assignment, it's going to hyperlink and take me where I need to go for Raz Kids. And um, this brings up a particular view on my internet browser, but once logged in, um, it will take me to where I need to go. So. That is um, a page that you will want to come to every day. Another uh, suggested schedule is on here. I know if you were like my family and the days seem to be running together, a, a schedule to provide consistency and organization does help the family. These are suggestions for you um, in order to make your life as easy as possible. And of course, there is a way to email Mrs. Ortman if you need anything. You can fill out this form. And of course, you can also email her as well. Or you can communicate with her via Class Dojo. So we have multiple access points to get to her. So in conclusion, she's gonna have her homepage, in which case 
when she runs her daily uh, Zoom conferences, students are going to press on the Zoom hyperlink to take them there. Students are also going to go to their class uh, assignment page every day to figure out what the assignments are and what they need to do in the different subject areas. And if you have any questions about anything, you can always contact Mrs. Ordman via email, via Class Dojo, or filling out this form. We hope this is a very easy and efficient process for you as we roll out this distance learning model. Thank you and stay safe.